Hello everyone, uh, today I'll be going over how to download, install, and register uh, one of the most popular Ghost servers out there, Fox Ghost Server. All you have to do is you go to this link, which I'll post in the description box below. You click on this link, uh, it'll start the download right away. And since I've already finished downloading, uh, I click on install, set the install, and I click the middle button. Uh, if this was in Chinese, you would still could click on the middle install now button. It's just, just different translations. And after this finishes, uh, the, the login page will pop up. In this case, the best case scenario, the whole thing is in English. If it's in any other language, you go to the top right corner, the setting button, uh, you go to the second option down the column, and then you just switch it to English. And then you close it, close the whole program, and this will reset the language of the program. And then you go back to your desktop icon, and by now, the whole thing should be reset to English. And then how do you register an account? It's very simple. You just click on this register button, and then this will pop up. Um, it's very simple. Pick your nickname, your email, your password, and your rank. Uh, the top is 3 down and the lowest is 18. And you click on Submit. You don't even need an email confirmation letter. And then once you've done that, you can log in. And once you uh, finish logging in, sometimes it takes a while because there's so many people online. Um, you click on this green button here. Although everything else is in English, I guess their translation is just not done through the whole page. So all you have to play is, is click on that. Uh, you set uh, your times. That's it. Thank you very much for watching and uh, hope you enjoy playing on this website. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan, and today I will show you guys a step-by-step -step guide of how to install the Fox Go server on your own Mac. Uh, this guide will take about 20 minutes or so, including the waiting time. Uh, just a fair warning, it might uh, look a little complicated, but if you're not a coding person, just uh, do the copy and pasting, press enter, and you should be fine. Uh, and the code it will be shaded in gray. Uh, so the first step to do is to download the uh, server. So if you go to here, uh, the link might take a little bit longer to load because it's a foreign server. But if you press that link, you can just print, click the download URL. So save that onto your desktop and it should look like this, an install.exe. You won't need to click that. So the next step is opening the terminal. So first, um, if you go to the stop spotlight search, the uh, shortcut is command space usually. And all you have to do is type terminal and you should pop up. It's available on all Macs. And uh, the next step is to install Homebrew. So this is a package manager that we will use to uh, download some other stuff. So all you have to do is paste that in and uh, press enter. And uh, so when you're pasting, this is probably good to know, is you don't want to uh, have the uh, next line. So make sure you insert a space there and it will work. So press return and then type in your password. So this is the same password as you log in with. And uh, so I'm going to wait for an install and I will be right back. Okay, and I am back, so that should have taken about two or three minutes, depending on how fast your internet connection was. And the file size is about 300 megabytes, so make sure you have, probably you should probably have around one gig of space, at least on your Mac. Uh, but these are actually very useful for other things as well, so if you're interested, feel free to look in the documentation for your uses. Uh, so after that is installed, we're going to, if you type brew update, should just say up to date. Okay, great. So the next step is to install xquartz. So if you paste the next part of this code in, cask install xquartz, then it will attempt to install it. 
and I think it will prompt you to enter your password again. So if it does, enter your password and uh, press enter or yes. Sometimes you have to press enter and then press a Y and then enter. So if it shows you you need to do that, um, just do so. And I will be right back. Okay, so when it finishes, it will say it's success. Oh, I can't talk. Successfully in installed, and it looks very weird above because my terminal uh, is like uh, not the correct size. So if you make it kind of a different size, it will look a bit better. Anyway, uh, so the next thing to do is to install the wine. I think the X chords installation probably takes the longest, maybe about five to eight minutes, I would say. The next thing we will do is install wine stable. And uh, before we do that, let me just check how big the file is. So it's only about um, a few hundred megabytes. So now we're going to enter wine stable. We're going to install wine stable. So this is a stable version of wine. Um, you can also enter, just install the regular version of Wine as well. Uh, so we're going to use Wine to ins do the uh, installation of Fox. Um, so it's going to create some folders on your uh, desktop that uh, has, or it w you won't be able to see it, but it will be in the .wine folder. And I'll be right back when this is finished. Okay, so that was quite fast actually. It only took about a minute of waiting. So after is that we are all ready. Um, we're all done the installation part and we're all ready to install Fox. So to first we have to go to the desktop or whichever folder you have your Fox application in. If you're following this guide step by step, I recommend putting it on your desktop so you can just see the um, desktop. So you don't have to type this by the way. Um, just copy the command here and paste it in here and uh, it will take you to the desktop folder. So it's the same folder as when you on your Mac when you go to the desktop and you can see the installation.exe here. So here all you have to do is type wine and then install.exe and so this pops up. Now if you haven't installed wine before this will actually uh, tell you to install some of the packages and uh, it will look like a wine symbol it will be a smaller window so when these pop up just press install for I should be two or three of them so just press install and then eventually it will go back to this page so this is actually it, it should look familiar if you played on this server before and now when you just press install now it will uh, install the program on your laptop or desktop uh, so now, um, this should be pretty fast. Um, and after this is done, you'll see a bunch of stuff keep popping up. But also, this is a, the regular Fox interface. And you can maximize this window. And do it that. If this doesn't show up in English, you can always press the uh, settings and go to here and change the language to the very bottom one, which is English. So that should be it. You should be able to log in already. So it's actually quite fast as if you have the wine skin package and you have, if you have homebrew. So there are definitely other ways to do it, but I found this to be the easiest way. Um, and uh, in the future, I might do a separate video on how to get rid of some of these symbols and show the characters correctly. But you can play already, and these I don't think you can do anything about. These kind of already just show up um, like this. So after you're done, actually, we're almost there. And so it's been installed, but it's still kind of hard to access because you actually have to paste in this command. So if you paste in this command, it will also run the uh, regular version of Fox. Um, so when you paste in the command, make sure you do a PWD first. So if you type PWD in your terminal, it will tell you your direct the directory that you're in. So here, make sure you replace your the Ryan here with whatever whatever this um, administrator name you have here. So so if you paste this, just uh, make sure you go to what's whatever this is after the users and type in whatever name that shows up 
between the two slashes. And when you press enter after you've finished changing it, if you get the right one, it should relaunch Fox. And so that's actually the way we're going to launch Fox. But of course, we don't want to do it from the terminal every time, which is kind of get annoying. So the next step will um, show you how to do it for easier access. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the spotlight search again and type script editor. And uh, here is going to pop up this window. So press the new document in the lower left. And then it will give you the script. So now we uh, just paste in whatever is in here. So if I can select. So copy and paste that in. Make sure you get the tab because that's important. And when you paste, it's going to get rid of that line. So just make sure it's not a new line. It's a space bar here. So just delete that and press space. And here, make sure you change it to the administrator name, which you can find out by um, doing the PW. You can also press CD and then PWD, and then it will give you um, the name here. So just type in that, replace that name that you see with the Ryan that you see in the pasted code. So after you pasted the code, just press Command Save, and it will pop up this. Or you can do File Save. Okay, and when you save, you can name it whatever you want. I usually just name it Fox. And name it Fox Go. But here, this is really important. Make sure you select Application, so you can actually search it up. So after you do that, press Save. And that's it. So now you can actually just quit this. And you can actually just quit the script editor on the left altogether. So when you do that, you can now do the spotlight search. And you can search for Fox Weichi. And it will ask you whether to provide the data and press yes. And there you go. And now you have access to one of the most popular Go servers in, on your own Mac. So, hope that helped, and uh, I will see you next time. And also, before I go, leave, any, leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, I try to make it as straightforward as possible. Um, one thing, I tried this also in an earlier version than OS X Mavericks, which is the version of this computer. Uh, so, things should work, but let me know if you have any issues, and I'll try to get back to you. Cheers.